Hey, hey, hey guys, Geoskano here, bringing you another God Guide. This time to the new and improved pesky little Ratatusker. Alright, a quick overview of his abilities. His passive, Acorns of Yggdrasil, provides him an acorn in the item slot, which replaces boots, can be upgraded from anywhere, and have his abilities heal him when at max rank. Dart is a dash that damages and slows enemies, but you stop when you connect with an enemy god. Dart's cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds for each Flurry or Acorn Blast hit. Flurry has rats spin around damaging all enemies and reducing their physical protections. He hits targets up to 4 times. Acorn Blast sends out 3 acorns that do damage in a cone in front of him. Enemies hit by 2 take additional damage and enemies hit by all 3 acorns are stunned for 1 second. His ultimate, Through the Cosmos, has Rat climb up into a tree above him, jump onto two additional branches, and then choose where he wants to land on the ground. Enemies that he lands on take damage and are knocked up for a short period of time. The first abilities you want to go are Acorn Blast, Dart, Flurry, Acorn Blast, and your ability priority after that is Through the Cosmos, Acorn Blast, Dart, and finally, Flurry. All of his abilities are really strong and you can really level up what you want depending on your personal preference. The most common starting item build for Rat is to go Booma's Mask, a Potion of Physical Might, 3 Health Pots, and 2 Mana Pots. The build you want to work towards is Acorn of Yggdrasil, Jotun's Wrath, Golden Bow, Blood Forge, Mantle of Discord, and Titan's Bane. One important factor is that you need to get max or near max CDR and get a lot of attack power. I really do like the Golden Bow for the AoE attack on his chain. It's very powerful bouncing back to everything multiple times, just the same way that Mercury can abuse it. Alright, a brief mention on counter picking. The biggest counter to Rat, ironically, or I guess it would make sense, would be Fenrir. It is kind of fitting that he is a skin pretending to be Fenrir. Rat relies heavily on movement speed mid combat, so being crippled or slowed really hurts Rat's game. So any god that can do these can be tough for him as well. The rat is really meant for the jungle. As most gods in the game, he is seen in the solo lane on occasion, but mostly he'll just be a jungler. Start off with the standard start by clearing out the speed buff, mana buff, and then normally you want to head to the solo lane. Pick up the fire giant camp and mid camps when you can. Rat has an exceptional amount of burst, and that is because he is an ability based assassin. His autos will hurt, but they are not the majority of what his play will come from. So touching on that, let's dig into each of his abilities. Dart is great at moving around the battlefield for both offense and defense. I think it is slightly less useful than it was before the change, which is why I level it second or third instead of first. Dart is great at being an initiation ability now because when you connect with an enemy god, you stop instead of being able to push right through them. But it now provides a slow which helps you land your abilities and other auto attacks. The reason it is a great initiation ability is because after you use the other abilities, it will reduce the cooldown of Dart, allowing you to use it again. It is a little rough to use it as an escape because it will now stop on contact with an enemy god, much like Medusa. Flurry is your typical AoE ability. The nice part is that it will provide physical protection debuffs, which is great on an opening ability. There isn't a whole lot more to this ability other than reducing the cooldown for Dart and healing you when you successfully hit enemies with a maxed out Acorn. Acorn Blast is the real burst potential for the rat. Once their physical protections are low and your burst has begun, drop in the Acorn Blast. This will stun them for one second if you hit them with all three Acorns. Follow that up with a few autos and you should be able to get in some serious damage. Through the Cosmos is great for chasing down enemies, escaping bad situations, or initiating into fights. The surprise factor is huge with this ability and much like Scylla's ult, it is significantly better to jump between branches quickly and land before your enemy has time to prepare for you. Alright, let's go over a typical gank. Start off with your initiation ability, which is either through the cosmos or more commonly, dart. When you get in, activate flurry and then stun them with acorn blast. Scatter in as many auto attacks as you can, but don't lose distance on your target. If they use an escape ability, catch up to them with dart because it should be ready again, which is the reason why you use it to initiate. That should make you able to hit them with a few more autos and secure the kill. As the jungler, you want to keep your jungle cleared out and help any struggling lanes. It is also your responsibility to initiate a lot of ganks. Just follow the gank strat that I laid out and you will do great. Rat is an extremely mobile god, so dodging abilities and making quick decisions is incredibly important. Bouncing in and out of combat anytime you are being focused is totally okay. 
I run away a lot and use through the cosmos to reinitiate when a team fight is starting to go in our favor. Like any assassin, you cannot take a lot of damage, so stay initiated as long as you are not being focused on. Outside of that, dish out as much damage as you can and enjoy the ride, but never, ever, ever forget to defend middle lane. All right, a brief mention on alternative game modes. Rat is very strong in all game modes. His ability chain and kit is strong and can be used frequently. Like any assassin though, the one thing he struggles in is high amount of large team fights, so arena can be a little rough. The enemies not knowing where you are is incredibly important in that. All right, let's talk some tips. One, having a plan in mind for through the cosmos is crucial. Acting fast is far more powerful and easier to aim if the opposing team doesn't know what's coming. 2. Hitting your targets with all three eggcorns from Eggcorn Blast is critical as well. You do not have to be right next to your target to accomplish this. It is sometimes harder when you're right next to them. Go into the jungle mode and find that sweet spot where they can be slightly out of melee range but still get hit by all three eggcorns. 3. You can upgrade your eggcorn from anywhere on the map. You just need to keep your item browser open and wait a few extra moments. I don't know if it's lag or what, but it takes some extra time. And that's my guide to Rata Tusker. I'm Geoskano. Did I miss anything? Tweet me at Geoswarp. Join me on my live stream at twitch.tv slash Geoswarp and sign up to play Smite with the link in the notes below. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.